All right, everyone, welcome. We're doing a lower trunk rotation now in our handstand prep progressions. So why would I use this? I'd use this if I have some sort of shoulder mobility limitation that is asymmetrical or if it's really stubborn. So I had uh, an anecdote. I had one guy who's both his shoulders stopped right about here when he tried to bring his arms all the way back. Um, and nothing I was doing was working except for this. This gave him probably 20 or 30 degrees of shoulder flexion. Um, why is that? Well, when I do this rotation, I kind of emphasize one side at a time. So for people who are particularly stiff, as long as you can get that nice rib cage exhaled position where you're feeling those outer lower abdominals, then you can really squeeze on one side at a time. The other scenario that I might use this is if you have some sort of asymmetry. So maybe my left shoulder doesn't go back, but my right one does. Then this way I can I can take this rotation and I can say which one feels good. OK, try to make the bad side feel like the good side and let's walk through it. So first step is I got to pick my feet up off the ground. Um, I like to have something in between the knees to ensure that they kind of stay together. Otherwise, this rotation tends to occur at the hip joint instead of at the spine, which is what we're looking for. So from here, I have my little rib flare. I got to get rid of that. So big sigh out. I'm going to push my low back into the ground. And I feel my outer lower abdominals turn on from there. We're going to make a T with our hands and you notice my palms are down. I start there when I inhale, I'm going to come out toward one side and I'm going to wring my entire body out by turning my head the other way and looking at my palm. OK, so this hand stays really firm. Both my shoulders stay in the ground when this shoulder comes up. I've gone too far. OK, so I want to stop right before I hit that. Let's try to find the abs again. Got them. Keep the shoulder down and we'll turn back the other way. I like to do this one really, really slowly. You can throw the breathing in like I was mentioning. Inhale when I come out. Exhale when I rotate back. The other way I like to do this is just exhale when I move. And then when I get to the end, I take a breath. <sighs> Generally, you can really feel some stuff moving around. Sometimes you feel a nice nervy stretch in your arms like I feel right now. <sighs> OK, this one can be pretty killer right here. It can be even pretty killer right here in your hip flexors. That's OK here because they're supposed to hold your feet up. Remember the bolster to make sure your knees stay together. Um, it could be a candle. That's fine. It could even be a small candle. Um, and remember to wring your upper body out with your arms. That helps get that twist all the way up. And most importantly, don't let your whole body roll over. Don't try to be a hero here. Usually less is better as long as you're maintaining that exhaled position and those outer lower abdominals.